you ask me, what do I want? I should ask you, rather than you asking me. Because it depends where you are. If you are identified with the body, then your wants will be different. Then food and sex will be your only wants, only desires. Those two are animal desires, the lowest. I am not condemning them by calling them lowest. I am not evaluating them, remember. I am just stating a fact, the lowest rung of the ladder. But if you are identified with the mind, your desires will be different. Music, dance, poetry. And then there are thousands of things. The body is very limited. It has a simple polarity, food and sex. It moves like a pendulum between these two, food and sex. It has nothing more to it. But if you are identified with the mind, then mind has many dimensions. You can be interested in philosophy, you can be interested in science, you can be interested in religion, you can be interested in as many things as you can imagine. If you are identified with the heart, then your desires will be still of a higher nature, higher than the mind. You will become more aesthetic, more sensitive, more alert, more loving. The mind is aggressive, the heart is receptive. The mind is male, the heart is female. The mind is logic, the heart is love. So it depends where you are stuck, at the body, at the mind, at the heart. These are the three most important places from where one can function. But there is also the fourth in you, in the East called the Turiya. Turiya simply means the fourth, the transcendental. If you are aware of your transcendentalness, then all desires disappear. Then one simply is with no desire at all, with nothing. To be asked, to be fulfilled. There is no future and no past. Then one lives just in the moment, utterly contented, fulfilled. In the fourth, your one thousand Peter Lotus opens up, you become divine. You are asking me, Krishna, what do I want? That simply shows you don't know even where you are, where you are stuck. You will have to inquire within yourself. And it is not very difficult. If it is food and sex that takes your major part, then that is where you are identified. If it is something concerned with thinking, then it is the mind. If it is concerned with feeling, then it is the heart. And of course, Krishna, it cannot be the fourth, otherwise the question would not have arisen at all. So, 
so rather than answering you i would like to ask you where you are inquire 